The Prime Minister insisted we're going to have to be unpopular in first major interview since entering number 10. Sir Keir Starmer admitted his new government is going to have to be unpopular amid a furious backlash over axing winter fuel payments for most pensioners. The Prime Minister sought to defend the tough decision to restrict the allowance to only those on pension credit. He told the BBC Sunday with Laura Kunzberg programme, I'm absolutely convinced we will only deliver that change, I'm absolutely determined we will, if we do the difficult things now. I know they're unpopular, I know they're difficult, of course they're tough choices. Sir Keir added, we're going to have to be unpopular. Popular decisions aren't tough, they are easy. When we talk about tough decisions I'm talking about tough decisions, the things the last government ran away from. I'm convinced that because they've run away from difficult decisions, we haven't got the change we need for the country. The PM faces a potential Labour rebellion in Parliament this week when MPs will vote on scrapping winter fuel payments for around 10 people. Rosie Duffield, Labour MP for Canterbury, yesterday became the latest backbencher to say she could not vote with the government when the measures comes to the Commons on Tuesday. She said she could absolutely not support the move, joining other backbenchers who have voiced their concerns. Chancellor Rachel Reeves unveiled plans to limit previously universal winter fuel payments in July. She blamed the decision on a £22 billion black hole in the public finances left by Rishi Sunak's government, which the Tories have denied. The move is expected to reduce the number of pensioners in receipt of the up to £300 payment by £10 million, from £11.4 million to £1.5 million saving around £1.4 billion this year. The Daily Express is campaigning for the government to U-turn and save the payment.